In this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to apply a canvas texture to the background of this image, the dog. So here is our canvas picture, and here is our picture of the dog. Both images are from stock websites, and I will leave the links in the description. The first thing I'm going to do is duplicate our background layer, and I will do that by pressing Ctrl or Command J. I always like to keep a, a separate background copy. Now we're going to place the canvas over the top of the dog. Go to the canvas layer. First we need to unlock the background layer. Just double click and click OK. Then by using the move tool or the V tool on your keyboard, click and hold and drag. Hover over the dog image. Still hold it and bring it down over the dog and release. Click yes, OK. Now the canvas texture has its own layer and now our next job is to isolate the dog from the canvas. Turn off the canvas layer and select the subject layer. Now we're going to select our dog so we will go to the object selection tool which is up here. Simply click on select subject and Photoshop is going to do a pretty good job of selecting the dog. If you have a more complex selection, like a lot of fuzzy hair, then you would need to refine the mask using the available tools. I will cover how to do that in another video. Now we're going to invert the subject and to do that we're going to click Ctrl or Command Shift I. And now we have our background selected. Now turn on our texture layer. Make sure you've highlighted it. And come down to Mask here and click. We'll be changing the blend mode. First of all, I want to make some colour adjustments to the texture layer. I will do this by creating a curves adjustment layer. So we'll go to our curves. We need to clip it here to the texture layer below. And I want to reduce some of the yellow, which is in the highlights of the texture. So to do that, I'm going to go to the blue channel because blue and yellow are opposite and we can come up to our highlights up here in this region and just slightly nudge up a little bit and I'm happy with that. Now I want to add some green into the shadows so let's go and create another curves level. This time we'll go to, oh we need to clip it to the texture layer here. This time we'll go to the red channel, red being opposite of green and we'll reduce the red in the shadows. Again, not too much. It's too much. Just to bring, whoops, oh, just to bring a little bit of green in. Okay, I'm happy with that. If you feel that's too much, you can always go to the opacity, which I think I will do and just reduce the effect slightly. Now I will go ahead and change the blend mode of the texture layer. So we'll go back to the texture layer, make sure it's highlighted and we can scroll through all the various blend modes until we find one that we like. And you can always reduce the opacity. I kind of like it quite high, so I'm going to stick with 100. And I'll show you the before and after. So before and after. Thank you for watching.